Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic, not the Soviet Skylines, and today we're gonna be talking about the Mountain City. Right, uh, first things first, let me all tab real quickly and just uh, check some of the things. Yeah, uh, by the way, I'm pretty sure that most of you know that, well, maybe you didn't because we don't care about that stuff recently, but uh, financially we're going slowly down, that's because we're not exporting stuff like this. But can we, can Lee, without you, can Lee, uh, can we actually uh, recover financially by not exporting oil? And that would be one of the next things I would like to focus on in this episode. Uh, we have I think this is all set up in a system while well, this meat production here is not working properly uh, We will address mr. Stats's issue with the tower not the issue, but uh, uh, Dealings with the tower. We will do this all of it as soon as possible. So uh, We will be focused on the tower as well. Uh, what we're gonna do now is I Don't know wait Oh, right, 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 right. So, Mr. Whale Tier, um, uh, issue with the uh, refinery, we, uh, we're gonna start potentially today. I'm gonna see how Babushkino is doing. Uh, we have a couple of things we need to fix in Babushkino. We have railroads. They, the railroads here need to be finished first. The problem is also these railroads here. I need to finish them somehow. Uh, we can use the construction office from here because they are pretty good in building stuff. I mean, like, check this out. They built everything. This is the last segments of the railroad that need to be constructed. Everything, even the electricity hoses are done. So this is done. I would like to put it to production production as soon as possible a uh, couple of things like these things will be built and these things here will be built because currently they cannot build it because there's no access but 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 if okay wait 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 is there a, no it's a it's a construction i thought this was electricity there's no electricity because this is built. that doesn't matter but 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 but, but uh, we need to finish the full circle first because in order for them to access this they need to go all the way around, all the way around to finish this, and the same reason why they are not finishing this. Then probably I will just let them finish this, these, uh, these segments here, uh, going to the uh, to the train factory, and we are ready to rumble. Then, so this is the last thing they need to finish. Uh, right, 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 right. Uh, I wanted to cover some things uh, just to confirm myself as well because uh, when I comment on some stuff, I'm not 100% sure about these things, but uh, we can check it out. Now, I'm 99% sure that these helicopters here can transport people as well. Uh, and it should say somewhere. If not, I know because I remember seeing them transporting people. Maybe. So if we go for, let's see if we try to buy mechanism helicopter. No, it doesn't show us here, but I'm pretty sure that they transport people as well. Now, hit the comment section and let me know if you know anything about why. Okay, I, 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 I get not. I don't get it. Uh, missing bus transport workers need to be shuttled to construction. Okay. Maybe you're right. Okay, let's, let's, uh, let's try this. How much do you cost? Uh, One million. Uh, if we get another helicopter, because I was 99% sure that I saw them transporting people, uh, same type, let's go for the same type, it's just shorter, I might be wrong, I, I, I've been proven to be wrong more often than not, but still, um, right, so let's see if they're gonna finish the construction now, so looks like uh, these guys cannot transport people, even uh, contrary to popular belief, which is probably just me, they do have an entrance for people and looks like they have seats as well, but uh, they're just not doing anything, that's fine, that's fine, let's, uh, let's say that I was wrong, <laughs> because I was, uh, right, um, so uh, how do we offset our... Um, uh, budget. So we need to have. Ooh, look at these guys being busy. What's with this? Oh, they're loading crap load of bricks. What's with this? No workers. Why is there no workers? Because they were not delivered. Uh, what about you? Delivering more people? Yeah, that's fine. People are coming here, but problem. Oh, there's no problem. Oh, problem. Okay, uh, here we go. We, we can see that they are not taking... Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, they're not taking this path. Why is that? Because this is much closer, right? 
Uh, sure, sure, sure. I can I can create uh, uh, options for you guys. What if I create it from here, here, and then? No, I don't think we can do that. Can we? Can Lee do that? Uh, I was thinking of creating another overpass for them. Uh, maybe even through all of this. Ah, but they only can have. They only can have one. Like this probably. Yeah, sure. I I'm all for this. I'm all for our people. Power to the people. That's what I say. Uh, right. Let's go here and. Uh, oh, kidding me. Uh, 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 no. We can do. Okay, that's a little bit strange. It looks like it could work, but it's not. I, I didn't want to do this, but that's fine. Okay, let's let's play more with it. I didn't want to waste time on this. Uh, cancel, 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 cancel culture. Uh, re rotate it twice, and here we go. And now, okay, much better. Uh, and then overpass. Oh, overpass. There we go. Construct all of this. Good riddance to you. Okay, uh, we have these trains. We said that the train that goes to Murmansk, and this is capital, not that one, but this one, uh, that goes Dryori, AM, Dryori, and then Galask, and after Galask, you need to go to the border crossing and export all the leftover bricks. Unload bricks. There we go. So we're gonna have some additional benefits. We can do this. Okay, the resources are there, just invisible. If you're asking why they're invisible, it's because they are. Uh, because the the I didn't flatten the ground when I was placing this, and this has some collision issues as well, and it's, it's it has a lot of fun like this. Uh, what I can do as well is uh, boards are actually being loaded here, so I cannot do anything about them, but I can do with steel and prefab panels. So let's find those two bad boys here. Uh, that would be steel, no. This one, and there we go. So after, after, well, okay, this one is exporting steel, that's perfect. And then we need prefab panels, and then we have Dryori, Glavistock, 18 a.m. Okay, when the hell... Wait, wait, wait. Ah, Danilo. Oh, yeah, that, that's the last one. Okay, my bad. My bad. This is the last one. And uh, let's go and tell them to go to the border crossing and export all the extra... Unload. Unload. That's the export part. There we go. Unload all the uh, prefab panels that we created. There we go. Steel, b bricks, and prefab panels are being exported. All the little bit of extra. A um, couple of things I wanted to do here. Let me know what you think about this. Uh, I wanted to just destroy this. This railroad entrance, uh, part of this actually first I would build 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 first I would build the uh, railroad construction office around here um, actually you know what can I can I show you this maybe I can uh, how do I do that how can I even put this train back in here I don't know if I can this iron uh, uh, iron train how can I even put it where is you He's unloading. Uh, maybe I don't have to. Maybe I can just uh, uh, leave him there while I demolish this. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Look, let's uh, let's focus on this. I wanted to build two access, maybe even four. Four. Let, let's go with four. So let's remove this road. I wanted to build this. Uh, so this is one of the well, f well. I, I would like to say favorite things I do, even though it's it's kind of pain. Um, I, I like to fix the problems I cause. Sometimes this is not compliment. Sometimes it's hard to cause problems to fix them. Because if it's, everything is going fine, then there's well, obviously no problem. But sometimes problems are just always there. Uh, like in this series. So what I would like to do here is create a healthy, uh, healthy railroad intersection. Okay, so how do I do this? Can we build this? No, we can't. Uh, we obviously have to do something like this, and like this, and can we do this? Nope, this is too short. Uh, I would probably have to go from here. Let's see this one here. Yeah, let's uh, let's pause this. Let me try uh, something like this. So I'm, I'm having operational intersection over here and leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Perfect. So I need to build the second intersection uh, somewhere. So let's try this. Uh, are the pillars aligned? Yes, they are. Perfect. You see, you see how everything functions. Not really, but uh, let's go away, go away, go away, go away. Okay. Uh, here, 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 here. OK, 
Okay, a little bit more. Okay, does this look like a healthy intersection? Potentially. Uh, and now we need to connect it to... To, 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 to. Let's go all the way here and then to here. So this is what I wanted to build. Okay. Now, this is a steel loading facility. So we have... This is long enough for all the length of the trains that we want to do. But uh, we need to have trains loaded in all the bays. But uh, first things first. Let's go and uh, construct this. Now, we need to uh, construct... We, we, I need to put semaphores. Unfortunately, I have to put semaphores first uh, because I need to see how this is going to look like. Uh, towards the intersection, this way, that's fine. And then we have to have an exchange here. Uh, exchange like this. And then we have to have another exchange here for parking for the steel trains. So it would be something like this. And then I would have the second one. Okay, I, I have a feeling that this is not long enough. So we would have a second one third one uh, a third one there we go just for the future proofing this thing i'm gonna go for uh this many oh maybe this is a problem let's see this definitely is a problem oh here we go perfect so let's go and remove some of this extra railroad one and the two and the three that doesn't really matter uh we just have to reassign re reattach it here Reattach it here. Come on. Go. Go. You bet. Oh, perfect. Uh, and this one. Come on. Go. Yep. Are you... Is this even straight? This doesn't look like it's working like it's supposed to. Uh, I can do this by assigning the first one first. And the second one, actually, I think, I think this is the better way to do it. Here we go. And then assign this one. Oh, uh, looks like they need a little bit more space, like NASA. Um, maybe if I go for like this. No, no, doesn't look like it's uh, working out. So if I go like this, I don't think this makes any difference. They do this, but that's not it. Uh, so this needs to be removed. I'm just trying to understand because the Mr. Topros did a really good job on these. Um, so when I'm happy with this, when I'm going to be happy with this, when they are kind of parallel to each other. So this looks like it's it. But then we don't have space for this one. Uh, are we even supposed to build the first one over here? Maybe yes. Should I stay or should I go? Ta -na 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 -na. Okay, I'm happy with this. Maybe I should uh, cut down on the size of these intersections. So the trains go in here. Uh, obviously, this is nothing. Uh, but the trains go in here. Brain goes in here. Oh, uh, we said the last one first. Okay, so last one first. You need to fit. Uh, okay, it fits here. And then we can fit this one in. Uh, this looks like it's perfect. And then this one needs to fit. Come on. There we go. Okay, I think this looks nice. So this would be uh, still parking lots. Yes, sure. Uh... And then we have to build this. So there's obviously going to be outside. It, actually, no. It doesn't have to be outside construction. So we would have one. Oh, bollocks. Uh, don't cancel all of it. Don't cancel all of it. Uh, it will be this. And then this. Uh, closer to closer. Okay, obviously. My bad. My bad. Roll this. Okay, this doesn't like it. What about from the other side? Uh, I have a feeling that this is a problem, so let's put a semaphore here and then remove it and see if we can get a nice swig from... Uh, there we go. Something like this. I was thinking about steel. Now, are there problems here? This is also a switch. Switch is here as well, so if the train comes in here, it needs to be able to get back in the same... get back where you came from. Uh, so, something like this. It doesn't really have to be all the way from here. It can be from this direction. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's wrong rail. It can be like this. So, this would be for a train uh, going in the opposite. Now, we need to construct this. How do we construct this? Uh, 
obviously with interruptions so we don't have a lot of space here to maneuver but yet everything here needs to be connected to each other so how can we construct this i can i can place a construction railroad construction office here and then connect it from this side and from this side and it can build itself from from this direction uh, this will also be the minimal disruption to the existing system so if i do something obviously not like this but let's see oh Oh, sure, sure, something like this. And if I go to our mods and the small railroad construction office, I can go and... Uh, railroad construction office, here we go. Uh, the small one... Why am I even putting it here? Why don't I just utilize the ones that I have already? I don't know. Uh, because I have to build switches then. I have to build switches anyway, but I can start construction from here then reasons i don't know uh can we construct this from here if i cancel this huh they have to go in and then go back the problem is with going back um we can do it here Let, let's try let's try from the existing infrastructure so chain semaphores here this is all treated as an intersection and this is all treated as an intersection can this be a thing if they clear the intersection no it, let, let it like this let it be like this big intersection so we would have our existing uh, construction offices construct this but they're gonna have to construct this first so we're gonna have to have a way of getting back so if they go in and construct this when they go back they need to have switched to the left hand side in order to have switch to the left hand side they need to have switch to the right hand side this creates more problems Whew. i don't like this i don't like this at all uh this is a little bit complicated because it's gonna cause me to remove more semaphores from here create a couple of more switches here which probably we already had from before so i think it would be a better option to create just a new uh construction office small one just fit for this purpose so if we go here and then here, uh, let's say, uh, let's let's see where we can fit the real little construction office. So the small construction office, uh, we can fit it here, probably in the opposite direction, and uh, feng shui towards the road station. And uh, am I learning something? Is this something that I shouldn't be doing? Well, I mean, like lack of green lines definitely tells me that i'm doing something wrong but uh, uh, i can do it in the opposite direction pause and pause just to remove the construction uh ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum, tum -tum. and i'm probably gonna get build mother road over here uh can i build it in this way uh this is gonna be tricky because if i build it this way without connections then do it this way and this way and There we go. And we just have to switch to the other side as well. So that would be something like... Oh, uh, that would be something like impossible. For a moment then, there was something green. Hoo -hoo. Am I complicating this too much? Maybe yes, maybe not. -na 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 -na. Should I stay or should I go? It doesn't have to be there. We can always connect it here. Uh... But this doesn't look like it's going to have enough arc, arch, arc, arc, arc to connect it in the other side, on the other side. Okay, uh, look, this is uh, just plan. What do you think about this, guys? Uh, I'll, I'll make this work later. I'll cancel even this. I, I'll even cancel this. I will build this later if we want to build it this way. Is this like overcomplicating situation? Do you have better suggestions or anything like that? And off we go doing other stuff. Right, uh, what we can do is uh, cover some things that I wanted to cover, sell bricks, that's done, helicopter construction office, only key prove himself to be a dumbass well tier container harbor with <laughs> power plant we're going to talk about it later, starts, uh, stats and shop storage, shop storage, yes, uh, let's do this now. Uh, shop storage issues, issues that Mr. Stats mentioned is a couple of them actually. Uh, this here LZ100. Uh, obviously, Mr. Stats is not happy with these months, and guess what? He might be right. Might be. I promise nothing. I not admitting to nothing. But let's say that he might be right, and that we will uh, put more uh, more vehicles to this one. So let's go and purchase LZ100. So if we go for covered hull trains, trucks, truck, trucks, or trains. LZ100 covered trailer. Is this covered trailer? A semi-tra... Sem semi? 
Yeah, it looks like it's a semi trailer. Okay, let's go on that. Let's say that it's this one. Oh, uh, maybe I should have checked capacity. 6.5, 4.5. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the difference? What? LZ1? Ah, right. Okay, okay, okay. Semi. My bad, my bad. I, I don't know this terminology. Semi, uh, semi something? What is it called? Americans, uh, semi truck. I know it's semi truck, but what, what's it? Um, semi from something. Is it just semi truck or it's semi trailer truck or something like that any anyway, semi I, I know what a semi is sorry about that totally bad on my part but um still nevertheless uh, unpause this copy the schedule uh, to this bad boy okay and off you go and let's get one of these original ones that i actually wanted to build here and copy this schedule on him and finally mr stats will have three three vehicles uh transporting food there i will go for you know what uh Maybe it's a mistake on my part, but I probably should do this. Uh, cancel all of it. Okay, you can't. We have to b b build a new line. Um, electronics. Uh, sorry, electric. Uh, uh, this one uh, goes here. And you're going to be loading electronics and uh unloading electronics that's fine and we will remove this and this that's why I, that's how i can actually have all the semis that i want uh, delivering food and i can have this one delivering electrical components i will just try to catch this one one more time because we need to replace it with the third truck as per mr Satz's wishes there, here we go and copy the schedule on this one let's go focus focus ford focus here we go uh mr stats wanted us to use this i thought that was my bad i thought that this storage was supposed to be food only it's a miscommunication but uh, of course we can easily uh, put it to be not food only but actually can be limited to uh, all everything that our people need the chemicals uh, off uh, al alcohol alcohol I'm pretty sure mr. Stats wants alcohol as well yeah pun intended not really but uh, it turned out nice anyway so alcohol uh, clothes electronics okay clothes electronics so one truck is enough for electronics we can i can even have one truck go uh, clothes uh, sorry uh, electronics deliver clothes deliver electronics deliver clothes deliver i think it's gonna be enough to supply everything uh, but uh, we can have dedicated uh, dedicated truck for this as well there's only uh, dumper trucks here so we're gonna have to find we are going to have to find a way uh, uh i'm gonna have to find a different vehicle to deliver this again we're gonna go for covered hulls we're gonna go for value and find something that is being uh used these days value usually means also the capacity so i'm gonna go down clothing is this too big for clothing maybe uh, lz covered urals Romania and they're not being produced none of them here and then we are getting in the change zone uh, Tom okay it's it's a little bit off they are just the the stockpiled ones from before they're not being produced after 1995 which actually I didn't even know like for us it's just something that was built in Yugoslavia and uh, it's not being produced anymore I don't even I don't even know what um, age like uh, uh, they belong to like uh, uh, when they were produced when they were uh, uh, stopped when the production stopped uh here we go go off you go and then we have the alcohol uh we're gonna use the same time not, not the same vehicle but same type of vehicles if we go here and again cover hull uh tam 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 all the way in the back tam each tam each where is tam each oh actually that's not even is it a mod yeah, yeah it is it is uh different color different color uh white not this one um i'm gonna do you a favor mr stats you're gonna get the best tommy is just gonna pass next to our Shlivovica and our galask and go and take some Shlivovica for the good people of markusovo and statsovo uh right 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 uh i forgot about this i forgot oh, one second one second I'll, I'll find this right now uh, hopefully hopefully without any interruptions uh let me see uh, real quickly i'm just checking the 
uh, 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 comments real quickly. Mr. Stats had, I forgot to copy paste this, but I will be uh, remembering it in a second. Well, no, I'm actually looking at it. Uh, this is too old. I, I'm missing a comment. I'm missing a comment. Uh, I need to go. I'm, I'm probably going to do this later. Please remind me to do this later. But uh, I don't see in the list of comments exactly how we are supposed to uh, the, the, uh, uh, call Mr. 18 AM's uh, industrial area. It needs to be ru Russified or Slavicified. So we're going to deal with this uh, soon as well. Uh, we're gonna change this. It's not gonna be 18 a.m. and industrial is gonna be called differently. And did we finally? Nope, nope. Still not built. Still not built. Concrete missing. So this one is missing. Okay. What about the eternal flame? Okay. I don't. Well, I'm gonna assume that the eternal fl flame is done. Yes, it is. So, Mister uh, Red Star Legion. Here we go. We have eternal flame under the motherland calls. Perfect. Uh, ship here, it's still stuck. Uh, right, I can tell him like this. Go to wait point here. That would be going to the pumping harbor. Yeah, go here. Uh, and go here and go here. And uh, let him go to... This is uh, from the border to the pumping harbor. Okay, so he needs to go here go here that's this one over here when he's there i will then send them there oh right 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 uh shop storage what the hell did i write this for i forgot uh stats and i said that planning 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 yes uh this is what these are my notes actually from the comment section i didn't copy all the com all the comments i don't want to read them but planning yes i uh, what um uh, stats usually would like us to do at least what i understand correct me if i'm wrong i don't want to assume i don't want to say oh this is important was this? this is hospital yeah i thought that was hospital Okay, my bad. That's a shop, but still nevertheless important. So let's upgrade this one and assign straight away the footpath that has cranes and all the good stuff here. So uh, what Stats would like us to do in the future, not in the future, even now, uh, to build long roads, to be one, build one long... So uh, Aya's school of thought, uh, which is plan everything in mud, which is perfect. This is similar to the, the tutorials I watched in the Skylines, and I think it's really, really good tutorials. Uh, plan everything in mud, and then when you finished everything with mud, just upgrade to it to what you want it to look like. You just upgrade it, and they're gonna just build it. That's it. Um, whoa. This is done? Oh. There's no staff with basic education? Oh, there's crap lot of people coming in. I'm pretty sure that this just opened. Oh, hell yeah. University of Leninism and Marxism. Ha! <laughs> toot on, son. Toot on. Right. So, uh, I, I, at least what I understand, you would like us to build the grid. Let's go in, uh, to uh, Thomasburg. You would like us to build a grid in the mud roads and then slowly upgrade whatever needs to be upgraded. This is a really good, um, very good idea how to do it. Uh, what I believe Mr. Stats is advocating is that we should build long roads, build the long road, nothing else, and then build from there on. After the long road is done, then build all the side roads at the same time, like these roads. And then when those long roads are done, then you segment them to smaller parts, just because it will be faster. Again, this all of all of these things, yes, 100%, they will be faster, but it requires more attention. And uh, yeah me and attention are not uh, uh, in good relationship but anyway uh, so i believe that this is what stats would be would suggest also there's a couple of other issues uh, i'm kind of opening my mind to this uh, wow i had so many ideas and we're going to talk about this in the in this episode about the mountain city and i need your inputs about this we have uh, of course uh, conflicting uh, uh, suggestions which we're gonna go and uh, of course try to address all of them or make something in between so what i want to say is um first 
I think I forgot again. I think I talked too much. But what I wanted to say first is that uh, this mountain city, uh, I don't know where to build it exactly. We have a lot of space here. I even tried... Oh, so Mr. Moore wants us to have, not really secret, but let's say a railroad that's going to be delivering all the materials there. No road access to the city, only railroad in and out. And that's it. Um, delivering all the materials. Uh, he would like us to have a mountain retreat, which I was even thinking of building some kind of touristy stuff. It can have train going from Galask through um, a tunnel here. Now, by the way, I love these kind of secretive things, like, uh, no tunnel, sorry, bridge. Um, we, uh, something like this is it's quite interesting. And there's a couple of th those things in Dublin as well. If Phoenix Park is the second biggest park in Europe or Gated Park, uh, something like that. But the uh, Guinness, of course, well, um, uh, sorry, Phoenix Park it has also owners of Guinness had uh, uh, their own private homes there. And they had secret lines, railroad lines going through the park, south of the park, over River Liffey, near where today M50 uh, bypass or, or highway is. Um, there's this kind of bridge going and just tunnel. The bridge is collapsed or cut off, but part of the bridge still stands. And there's a tunnel in the sound the side of the hill and just well, nobody knows what it is. But um, I, I did a little bit of research. That was for people uh, serving the house or the Guinness family or whoever was the owning the... What's the name of the... I forgot what's the name of the house. It's the end of the north side, northwest side of the Phoenix Park. Uh, I'll remember the house with the lake. It was free museum. Now they charge that. Bastards. But um, anyway, so I was thinking building this one railroad line from somewhere. Like, it's not really secret if you have a huge bridge over the valley. So I was thinking more of something uh, where the existing line goes where nobody, nobody cares what it is. We can even have it diesel and then with uh, wooden tracks. I was thinking like this. You see this intersection here that we are hoping to finish sometime soon. Uh, this intersection over here, we can have a line from here going over here, wooden one, just disappearing in the forest, but actually going all the way zigzag into the hills and then build a hill town somewhere around here. Now, the problem with this is we are currently exp expanding into our nuclear valley, uh, but uh, and, and I'm not really sure if you're going to be able to spare a lot of construction hours from this to build a city in this area for a while at least. Um, I was thinking more about something maybe even in the capital city. We can have unfinished quote unquote uh, railroad that's going here and then just go uh, around the uh, around the uh, fire department over here and then wooden railroads going into one of these canyons in the mountains. We will have a little bit more construction power over here because capital city is going to be less burdened in the future, near future. And of course, there's, there's more months construction area that can uh, participate in this. Uh, also conflicting things, uh, what I got the vibe from Mr. Uh, Wealthier is that he would like us to have a lot of, like, let's say houses and tunnels. Like I said, again, I went to a place called Cinque Terre. It's a five villages in Italy. I went there like last year or two years ago, something like that. Sometimes I went there and they have these path tunnels everywhere to walk from one village to the other and train tunnels going like it's just they are built literally in these kind of canyons in in the middle of these canyons but small small villages. So five of them. Actually we can even build this here. So we have one uh, Monteroso. I forgot the uh, Corne Corne Cornelia Something like that. The, uh, Rio Maggiore and two more. I forgot the, the, all the names, but uh, I stayed in Rio Maggiore. Anyway, so we could have had uh, one, two, three, four, five, whatever. These these villages and connected with these tunnels in between. Maybe we can do even stuff like this, you know, um, put, uh, put uh, tunnels through here, for example. Maybe put one side over here and then the other over here. It's just the walking distance might be a problem because they have to walk for a long... Uh, they, 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 it's probably going to be too long of a walk in between those two. Uh, it's, it, it is a little bit on the expensive side, but uh, it's not as much as I expected. If you want to build a pipeline here, it's going to be more expensive than this. 500 tons of bricks. Wow. 
Anyway, but this is obviously not viable because it's more than 400 meters. Nobody's going to use this. Uh, it's going to have to be better connected. Uh, we're going to have to make it shorter or something. This is the problem with underground tunnels. Uh, we're going to have to build them uh, quite short in order to uh, have people use it. So what I'm going to do now is demolish a couple of these. F3. Uh, let's go and uh, uh, continue working on. So what do you think, guys? Should we go for these hills uh, near Galask and Statso? Ooh, old Statsovo Railroad. We can have our train coming all the way in here. We already have railroads going all the way to here. We can just disconnect the railroad and continue construction uh, to over here, maybe. Uh, resort. And we can have a train line going all the way up here. A wooden one, something like this. Of course, it's not going to work because it's too steep. Dummy. Uh, let's see this. I'm thinking like uh, I'll, I'll make I'll, I'll make it work and then it can go through the tunnel here uh, and on the other side we have a little bit more flatlands to build a village and also we can have like um, if you want to go for touristy part we can go for viewpoints hotels here to overlook uh, Markusovo, Statsovo and the Nizhny Veltir or we can even have like you know secret service village that we can have observation post monitoring the valley it doesn't really matter it's not valley towards the border crossing or anything but we can role play it in this direction as well so this could be uh, one of the places for this uh, mountain village and of course I will be building a lot of um, underground passages either for tourists or for military purposes it doesn't really matter because they're going to be using it you know more so than uh, overhead tunnels so we would be building uh, underground infrastructure and this is something there's a um, airport in Yugoslavia I think one of your guys one of you guys who, who knows the history or is from there you're gonna know this there's a Zhelia what the hell is this Oh, this is just a normal tunnel. I was like, somebody already built the tunnels here. Željava Airport is something that was built uh, in Yugoslavia uh, uh, during Yugoslavia. It's an underground uh, uh, air force complex. It had like 160 nine mig 21s capacity and in the mountain the control tower is on the top of the mountain where we went with the elevators i don't know how many thousand people can they be there at the same time they had the um uh, they had the the, the, the the like migs on the standby all the time to intercept like to defend the whole well, they had good uh, coverage of the whole country. It was during the war in the 90s. It was mined and uh, abandoned now. It's still kind of... Uh, it's there, but I don't think nobody wants to go there. So, uh, right. So, if we go with this one... How do we go to the outside? Or if we build this way? Maybe it just has to go in this direction. Oh, right. We can build it here. So, this is, this is what Mr... Uh, Weltier was trying to teach us that you can you don't have to build an exit from uh, you don't have to build exit from this but you can actually branch this like this so for example have this one and then I don't know this one for example and they create their own exits on the other side and we can do probably the same things over here so we can have this underground complex uh, we can always have like um, uh, one of them uh, in which direction okay we can always have one of them just uh, being central one and then branching off in different directions and we can even extend the same ones the tunnels uh, further on but yeah i think this is this is not a bad idea uh be that you, if you if you meant to build it as a military complex or maybe a military tourist complex or or just a, a mr moore had uh, controversial ideas of um, of building the South uh, Alps <laughs> resort, quiet little Alp village, uh, for no reasons whatsoever. But uh, <laughs> all jokes aside, but yeah, something like that, like resort, tourist resort, or 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 secret village, you know, of the secret police, or something like that, secret town of the secret police. We can even build it uh, that it's out of sight of Koptigrad, so maybe even in this area here, but uh, anyway, anyway, uh, what do you think, guys? Should we build it here near, uh, Markusovo? Should we build it here in the mountains that can actually overlook everything? This is not a problem. The problem is gonna be how to keep it secret and the railroads going up, uh, the hill. We can probably do it over here. Uh, railroad supplies going up the hill here, and it's pretty-ish 
secretish location here. I mean, there's a road here that can see everything, but it doesn't have to be secret. It can be a touristy one. Let me know about the location. Babushkino, the St. Thomasburg. Do we go for this area over here in the center of the map or Markusovo in these areas where we're going to have some extra capacity for construction? What, what do you think would be the best thing to do with this mountain city? Just which location? Anyway, uh, enough yabbering about, so I, I think Mr. JP wanted us to talk about more about history and not about the game, so maybe we should do that. That's all joke, uh, of course, uh, we, we should talk more about the game. So let's go and see how we're doing population-wise. 49,180, and uh, unfortunately we still can't see the amount of free apartments we have, but I think it's very, very low. We have 2,500 people living with their parents, which is again fine. Uh, we have two segments of railroad that we need to finish from this area let's see if we can do this right now so this is a railroad construction office do you have any construction spending no uh, can i assign uh, both of them at the same time or do i have to do one by one uh let's be on the safe side and go one by one uh they they seem like this is the opposite one that i constructed and they seem to be able to go there and there's a second railroad that we need to finish I won't. I will use the second construction office just because uh, it's closer and it's not going to affect our railroad traffic, so it should be fine. There we go. I need to click again and uh, construct this one. This is the ra this is the uh, oil delivery uh, railroad. I think rest of them are done. We can even put the signals, but we need to finish rest of the construction to do so. Of course, we still have a backlog or bottleneck uh, with road construction. We do have some of the things that can be constructed look at this nuclear this this church is done literally this church is just the, done this is done as well so i can uh, this one well close but it needs buses as well we can we can do this with buses so i can assign all three construction here one and the two and the three they're going to deliver people and finish these three uh well uh construction that we have i will be building a footpath infrastructure around no i won't I, i'll do that later uh we have another construction couple of constructions uh, around here do we have anything on the list look at the list here it's not really that big and uh what's with this uh why are you not building ah right finished maybe voltage uh wires what's this this is what there's something here without electricity. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, this one has electricity. Uh, I missed something that needs to be built here. I'm just going to check what again what it is. Uh, let's go here. 0%. Where are you? We're going to zoom in all the way in. Uh, oh, right. Uh, there's something here. Okay. That's the one. Uh, let's assign footpath to this. Nuclear path. And uh, yeah, check theater. And the three of these are going to be built now because we assigned them. Electric substation. Uh, where is you? You is here. Okay, let's do this one again. Uh, nuclear footpath. Yeah, let's go with nuclear footpath because uh, the buses are going to be delivering crap a lot of people to uh, continue constructing the city. Uh, right, right, right. Uh, I'm pretty sure that these guys, well, they are assigned already to path and to path. And so they are, they, they have all the materials coming in. So that's fine. I'm going to leave them alone. Let them eat cake. Uh, continuing on to the to Nissesburg, looks like this area is done, finished, complete, but um, uh, do they have everything that they need? Uh, potentially not. I see some people complaining about food around here. So where are the supermarkets? There's a supermarket here and there's a supermarket over there. And doesn't seem like any of them is in range, but it looks like it should be. So let's build some more. In okay, this looks perfect uh, for a park. So, and also this is going to be uh, useful. And let's do like this. Uh, I think this area here, like this. Build a path. There we go. And uh, remove this one. Ah, darn it. I shouldn't have removed that much, but that's fine. Uh, like this. I think this is... I don't know what to call it. Let's go like this. This is not bad. Footpad here. And let's connect these. 
I'm pretty sure that this is gonna bring this shop a little bit closer to us. Let's see. Uh, 300 meters. What about the other side? Other side uh, doesn't seem like to be close, but there's also no connection there. What we can build is underpass to this shop because this shop is at the end of the city. So it's not really centrally located. I'm just hoping to get these guys connected better. Uh, to that area, let's see, 60 meters, 160, 200 meters, uh, what we can do is build underpass, there's 260 meters, if I build underpass from here to here, will this be enough, I don't know, we can, we can give it a go, uh, we can, give, you know what, I think uh, we don't have a lot of time in this episode left, I think I'm gonna deal with this later, I'm gonna hope that we have, uh, that this is in range of our people, is this, why is this not having more people working here, do you have enough, I mean, 500 employees, that they should have enough people working here, uh, right, 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 uh, sports facilities, yeah, just have whatever, mass tourism, buses from, uh, uh, St. Thomasburg coming here to bring people to work, uh, capital city, capital city, uh, I think we do need a little bit of parks, and also, uh, one of the parts that I wanted to build, but I didn't plan well, is part of the city over here, on the hillside, uh, I was thinking of a little bit more lavish-ish, uh, buildings, uh, we can do it like this, we can try to be like Mr. Stotts, smart, uh, I think, uh, I think something like this. Ooh, that's a lot of low, no. Uh, let's try it like this. Then. Why is it? I think this is gonna work, but uh, I want it from here. I want it that way. There we go. Like a road here. And we need to connect it somewhere to the rest of the system. It just needs street lights, whatever, whatever, whatever. But it, it cannot be uh, crossing the railroad. So it probably has to be all the way around here. And we can have the hillside uh, push people, push efforts. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe. Why the hell not? And then we can build this part of the city. So let's let's start on this. Let's construct this part. And then we can have some hillside houses, buildings, something with a low profile. We can even do the old school buildings, Mr. Novo. I think I still might have these Mr. Novo's buildings without collisions that are actually supposed to be pla placed on the hillside. Which also... Yeah, why don't we... Can I... Do I have them still? If not, I'm gonna res resubscribe to those. Uh, I might have removed them because they were a little bit glitchy, but I'm pretty sure that everything is resolved now. Uh, Mr. Novo had buildings with a huge foundations that you can actually place on a hillside, and they look like a mountain village, like uh, like they were like they were built there, like from the like with a big foundation. Uh, uh, maybe I should use these for our village construction, you know, and and on the flat grounds or whatever I can have the. On the flat grounds, I can have the shops or whatever uh, doesn't have collision. That does have collision, and then have these like this. Uh, okay, I'm pretty sure that this is gonna work as well. So we will have this connected to the public transport system, and of course it will be. But I'm gonna finish this first before we continue with the with the rest of the well system here. Uh, I can start on both sides. I'm not that stupid. We can do it like this, and just confirm that this has access to the construction road, construction capital road. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna assign it already, but yeah, it assigned it uh, automatically, that's fine. Okay, uh, rest of the buildings here, this infrastructure is not done because they need people to finish. Okay, we're gonna go to buses. Uh, let's go buses because they look like they're not busy. Uh, and then we can assign this one and this one. Oh, this one is done. Are people coming here? Yeah, they're coming here. Are they building this? No, they're not building this. We need to uh, connect these buildings to the infrastructure. Oh, is this? No, okay, this is not just okay. This is this is this is done. So we can have uh, this and this and this. There we go. Everything connected. Uh, finish those, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna start. Uh, uh, people uh, are gonna come here for work and uh, start finishing these buildings. This is gonna open a, a lot of doors for uh, you know people happiness and stuff. I can see that we're missing a pub here. 
I probably don't... Ooh, are they done already with this road? Yes, they are. So let's go and build uh, two more segments. That would be... Oh, crap. This is the, the crappy one. Okay, so we need um, uh, this and this to both footpath one and footpath... Well, the second construction for footpath. Uh, footpath and hopefully, guys, just shipko, shipko, build this fast. And uh, that would be the last two segments to build, and we have the rest of the infrastructure done. Not really, because we're still building this one over here, uh, which is actually done as well. So let's go for footpath here as well. So finish this, and then uh, station, and uh, we're done. We are done with our Babushkino trolley bus infrastructure. We, they have one big line. You can see this wiggly line from this. Uh, trolley stop and then trolley stop and then near the train station stop and then uh, all the way around to trolley stop and then here to trolley stop so we end then back so that's going to be five stations of trolley stops we have four stations of the tram system one two three and uh, four and uh, if we need anything else we can always go for buses or whatever heating should be in there uh, people are missing sports but uh, better operating Public transport system should help with that. Kindergartens. Why is the hell? Okay, small clinic is here. But no patients. Why is that? Uh, because we need to finish these things. Uh, right, 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 right. Okay, let's start with this. Let's start with this. And how much time do we have? We have... We have 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Uh, we... I wanted to talk initially about this mountain village. Uh... I'm gonna. Uh, I wanted to talk about this mountain village first, but uh, we didn't. Uh, actually, what I wanted to do more about is the planning for this uh, refinery area here. Now it needs to be far enough from Babushkino as possible. So I was thinking maybe on the other side of this uh, area here. Of course, we this this shouldn't take too long to plan. Uh, of course, uh, the road infrastructure is gonna be the most important one. Uh, how far can we actually? W wow, I can. How far? I can level still? How the hell am I can I level here? I'm not using money, am I? Wow. Okay, I didn't expect this. So we can level pretty far, and there's a lot of them here. Wow. Okay, I have no idea where they're coming from. But uh, I'm gonna try to keep um, natural habitat as much, like, like geography as much as I can. I want to be realistic, realistic about this, uh, and... I think one big chunk of this is going to be the road over here. Uh, uh, uh. Wow. Yes, of course. Why would it fit? Okay, actually it can fit. It's just uh, not when I want it. Yeah, sure. Look, the other road needs to be upgraded anyway. So we can just uh, make it fit in this direction. This doesn't look like it's straight. So I'm going to go through here. like this and this can be our main road uh, even though we're gonna be delivering people here with boats uh, but again I'm pretty sure that the refinery area should have you know electricity and stuff uh, let's do it like this so this is gonna be the main avenue um, uh, I'm thinking about refinery here on the seaside uh, I don't know if there's any nice mods of refineries but we can go for yeah, this road here it's a little bit wonky but I was thinking about something like this. Let me know what you think, guys, in the comment section. Oil, fuel, bitumen. Uh, of course, in this direction. Uh, what? Come on. Don't you be messing with me like that. So we have all the connections like this. Fine. Again, we can claim a little bit land if we want. Uh, I'm going to build a pumping system over here. Ship loading over here for like exports or whatever. Uh, uh, tanks here for crude oil. Tanks over there for... Uh, uh, for uh, products like fuel and bitumen. And... Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's just going to take a lot of planning for this. And of course, passenger harbor and this kind of stuff. You can see that this boat, what I was saying, that this is perfectly timed when one boat is full, the other one just arrives. So basically this... Whoa. Oh, they put the new oil field in production, new extension of the oil field. Oh, perfect. I was like, why is this full? Uh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, quickly, uh, Mr. JP, Joshua, if you're watching this, if you're watching this, I'm going to make you really happy. 
we're gonna go here and load the crude oil and then unload in the soviet area unload and unload crude oil there we go uh, we're gonna be exporting crude oil one tanker of crude oil Probably should have uh, sent the Joshua, uh, Joshua T as a tanker. But yeah, I, I agree with this. Um, uh, I think we should be, uh, I should be a little bit more realistic in what we export. I mean, like, you can always go for expensive stuff because that's the smart stuff to export. But um, it's not always the most realistic. You know, exporting crude oil is also, look, some countries don't want you to process their fuel. They want to process themselves. So there is a market for crude oil as well. Uh, so... Yeah, we can, we can export crude oil rather than processed oil, just to be a little bit more realistic, you know, because, I don't know, it makes sense for me. Uh, right, so what I can do here, uh, it seems like most of this mud road that we have here seems like a logical place where we can have our infrastructure, future infrastructure, but we need to uh, connect these, for example, this is uh, technical services. Uh, I think this is maybe in a way. Let's uh, let's sell these vehicles and let's demolish this building and uh, let's build this. Uh, let's build this. Uh, like this. Like this. Uh, no, 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 um, remove this footpath and build it to the other side because, oh no, oh no, don't come here, people are, workers are coming here, no, don't accept workers, don't accept anybody here, um, right, so, build this, so when they build this, I will demolish probably this, uh, can do it like this. And I can remove this footpath. And then we can st uh, continue uh, building our coastal highway. Um, highway in the old meaning, you know, not, it doesn't have to be like, you know, actual kind of highway. We can build it like this. Uh, something like this. I don't like that it's bent a little bit, but uh, we can build parallel to this and then connect it to this one. It's gonna look nice. It's gonna look nice. I promise. We'll, you'll see. Um, so something like this. Actually, can we build all the way here? Uh, this is not gonna be protected by fire. Uh, if I... You know what? Let's finish this. Let's finish this one over here. Uh, wait, maybe not. Uh, let's finish this one over here like this. Construct both of those and build this one over here and that one over there. There's several segments we can start on both sides um, So I can have both this and the other side build built by the capital road They're gonna have and this is this is also uh, one of the thing I didn't uh, touch on this in this episode touch on in this episode and that would be the um, uh, Mr. Stats, I, I have a little bit better understanding of uh, uh, the game, let's call it, for somebody who makes YouTube videos about this game. It's weird to say this, but uh, I don't see this a lot because I don't watch a lot of other YouTube videos because real life is kicking my ass. I would love to do so, but anyway, if you share anything with me, I'll watch it. Discord channel, join us, subscribe if you didn't. I mean, like, it's freaking 57 minutes of this video. If you're still watching and not subscribed, there's something wrong with you. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good way to attract subscribers. So anyway, uh, what I wanted to say is that I see a little bit better reason why Mr. Stats is um, uh, pushing or advocating and the benefits of constructing the... Uh, of all the benefits of constructing the... Uh, railroad, sorry, the construction offices uh, in individual vehicle type, because for example, if you need to build a road, you need what, but you know what materials go to a road? Well, there you go. These materials go to a road. You have gravel. How much gravel? Shitload of gravel. How much asphalt? A little bit less, but still shitload of, of uh, asphalt. Steel. Uh, electrical components, you can always assign that later, but we are doing that anyway. So if you have a gravel office, an asphalt office, makes perfect sense, because this amount of gravel is going to require 
20 vehicles to deliver you know and uh, the same thing about uh, like the bigger you build uh, the, the the more expensive it's gonna be for example i don't know warehouse here 107 tons of concrete there's absolutely perfect reason for you to have the um, the concrete construction office period concrete construction just filled with concrete trucks flatbed trucks i mean like having several of them it's not out of the question but like most of the construction doesn't require i don't know 600 tons of bricks you know they, they require less than that but they require a lot for example if we go for this is what i didn't notice uh, I, I missed something in the in the mod monday it's the uh, power plant i think i'm missing the big nuclear power plant uh, the twin reactor one is that american one or whichever coal power but anyway if you want to build uh the huge power plants oh this coal one is absolutely ginormous lignite uh is it this one yeah that's the one so for example this power plant it's huge it's uh vokerode uh vokerode uh requires uh, ten thousand tons of bricks ten thousand tons of bricks See, the, you know, we don't have that. Like, we don't have, we, we will be producing that for a while. We don't, I don't think we have that. <laughs> but I don't, we don't have that. Like, that's a lot of bricks right there. Um, and yeah, I mean, like, we have a huge brick production and we would be able to manage. But like, let's, let's say that we don't have any bricks. This brick office fully supplied, which is... <laughs> 370 people at the moment fully supplied this is just because of the system here it's just because of these boats cannot have line spacing i have to deal with this thing there's no point of sending him back now but anyway if this works at 100 percent we would need 200 days 200 days at 100 production 100 percent is it 200 yeah, I think so. Yeah, 200 days at uh, maximum production to have 9,400. Uh, uh, Only for 9,400 tons of bricks. And we need 10,000. It's like over 200 days this has to work on maximum productivity to have enough bricks for, for this big construction. Okay, they just I, let's stop now with the superlatives and stuff. It's just uh, exaggerating, but like, look, that requires a lot of stuff like these roads and having the separate construction offices makes sense the only problem with that is like first of all it's not big of a problem but the problem is you have to know what you need there for example this one requires i don't know footpaths and to finish they're going to need electro electrical components later anyway uh but uh, in order to go to finish your constructions uh, you need to know what they need so roads it's quite easy i mean like it, it tells you ex exactly what they need so for example, bus station over here, it requires flatbed truck, uh, flat, flatbed construction office, asphalt construction office, concrete construction office, and gravel construction office. Okay, so these five construction offices, you'd set this up and they should, and of course you need machinery, that would be excavators, sorry, bulldo, no, excavators in this case, bulldozers for roads, and, uh, and then they're gonna need cranes. So you have crane construction office, bulldozer construction office, flatbed construction office, asphalt construction office, concrete construction office, and gravel construction office. And that's not it. You need seventh one. That's a bus one. That's gonna be in the end. Um, uh, so construction office for every single one of those. Well, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a moment. Seven of them. Well, we have them already. I mean, like we have six over here. We have six different construction offices. It wouldn't be like having ten of them. It wouldn't be out of the question. And you know how you would have enormous amount of trucks. In my understanding of this game, gets a little bit better. Like understanding like how to manage this game. A little bit better gets better over time when i you know realize what actually you need you know uh, uh, seeing the how game functions from different point of view and this is what i appreciate from you guys you know like it, it would be really hard for me alone to get to this conclusion to get set get me to this i don't know if you guys are there yet it doesn't have to be ahead it could be behind where i am but um, in this train of thought that you can actually build your construction offices not set it on automation and give them every type of vehicle they have but actually have 20 different construction offices for every purpose and then okay so can we build this road what do you need asphalt and gravel and that's it okay check your asphalt and gravel construction offices if you have trucks you can build it of course road construction office as well with their pavers and rollers but anyway it, it makes it makes sense it makes a lot of a lot of sense and uh, uh i like it I mean, like, I like it. I, I'm not sure if I'm there yet that I can just adopt that. But I like the idea of this. 
you know, being a thing. Uh, I, I'm definitely gonna try this. I, I'll give it a go. Wow. That bump there was serious. Anyway, anyway, I think we are way over time. And I'm gonna say, I hope you... Uh, wait, wait. There we go. I hope you like this one. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, notification bell, ring it. Comment section, hit it. And uh, support channel. Yeah, if subscribe and uh, Patreon, coffee or something like that. Guys, uh, have a nice one. Uh, talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.